Hi guys and welcome to All About The Philippines. Uh, today we're going to talk about Tampo. I've done a video previously on Tampo, if you want to check that out later. I was actually on uh, Philippines Oz Fun with JLB on his Facebook page and he had a, a uh, interesting thread on there about uh, whether Tampo is acceptable to end a relationship. There was quite a lot of uh, comments and different opinions on it. Most of the opinions were saying yes it is okay. But there was some saying no, it's not. Now, as I understand Tampo, and I am married to a Filipina, and yes, she has tried the whole Tampo thing on me, uh, especially early in our relationship. And what Tampo is, to start with, anyone who's not familiar with the word Tampo, which is in the Philippines, it's when a Filipina will give you the silent treatment, maybe for hours on end or even days on end, because she's not happy with something. Now, to a Western guy like myself, that's probably one of the worst things you can do. We, we would rather talk and actually have a bit of an argument or, or a discussion about something that, that we're not happy with in order to rectify it, in order to fix it. Whereas my understanding is what the Filipina is trying to achieve through Tampo is for the man to come up and, to her and say oh everything's okay and give us some love and you know cuddles and kisses and all that sort of thing that's what she's after well to me i say well why not just talk to the guy and say look i need you i need you to be a bit more kind caring considerate you know i need more hugs kisses whatever why not just say that rather than go to your room for hours on end and just stay in there and give you the silent treatment in any relationship now i'm, I'm a those that don't know i'm a counselor by profession and i have been trained in relationship counseling and I did that for three years um, and I did a lot of training around that so what in any any relationship communication is the key it's the old saying we've all heard it communication is the key and it is the key it doesn't matter which part of the world you come from and especially when you're in a relationship with a western man who's been used to communicating and they really a lot of western men really hate when a woman just goes silent and quiet and doesn't say anything, that, that's often worse than having a big argument for that Western man. So the Filipina needs to understand if she wants to be in a relationship with most Western men, then she needs to be able to communicate to him when she's not happy with something. To me, tampo is a childish behavior. It, it's the same as a child not getting what they want they don't get a lolly or whatever and they'll just have a tantrum or they'll just you know go quiet they'll go into the room and just lay there on the floor and and not and ignore you this is a very childish behavior by the you know filipinas who do this and i'm not saying all filipinas do it but it is a quite a common thing and it's also in my opinion a manipulative behavior so it's designed to get what she wants by taking away communication with her partner. Now that is only going to damage a relationship. It's not going to enhance a relationship. What actually draws people together in relationships is the communication. When they have problems, they sit there, they talk it out, and together they're achieving something. They're achieving a result. It might be a bit of give and take on both parts, but they achieve a result together. That actually makes people closer it brings them together and it actually provides more intimacy for those people as a couple to know that they have a problem and they can work through it together and get a good result which is going to make the, the relationship much stronger so those people out there and a lot of them were filipinas who were saying it's okay it's you know they don't see a big deal with it well it might not be a big deal if you're with a filipino man maybe they are more accepting of that behavior but if you want to be with a Western man, or most Western men at least, then really you need to communicate with them and talk to them about whatever issues you've got. And if you're a Western man and you think it's just part of their culture, I'm going to put up with it. If it annoys you, then don't put up with it. When my wife came to Australia, yes, yeah, she tried Tampa a few times and I explained to her that this is not on. This is not what's going to happen because it drives, does my head in. It absolutely makes me go nuts. And she only done it probably a handful of times ever since. But each time I did the same thing. I said, no, you're not going to do that. So the bottom line is, guys, 
Tempo is not acceptable in a relationship, in an adult relationship in particular. It's not acceptable. And if the Filip your Filipino wife or girlfriend wants to continue with that, then she needs to know that you're not happy with it and you're not going to tolerate it. Otherwise, it will damage your relationship and the relationship may end. And I'll guarantee you, you reinforce that to her a few times. If she really loves you, she's going to start to change her ways and she'll start to open up the communication and things will become a lot more uh, pleasant in that relationship. So this is just my opinion, guys, of course. You're entitled to disagree with it. I'd like to hear what you guys have got to say about it. So leave your comments below. Don't forget to share the video around. And of course, subscribe and turn notifications on to get more videos. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your support. Take care. Bye for now.